Good day, everybody. My name is Mike Ramsey, and I'm the chairman of the board of uh, directors of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. And I'm delighted to welcome you to the second annual Unite for Safe Care virtual event. And uh, this is going to coincide with the uh, third annual Patient Safety Day uh, sponsored by the World Health Organization. And this is a very important day for us because there are many, many patients out there and patients' families who have been hurt by preventable errors. And we have to make a difference. These are all preventable errors that we can do something about across the globe, across our countries. And uh, this is to bring it to the forefront so that we can fix this problem and make our hospitals high maintenance organizations where the right thing is done every time. I'd also like to thank Leah Binder and the uh, Leapfrog Group for being co-conveners uh, of this uh, Unite for Safe Care operation. So I also would introduce to you now, Mike Durkin, who's the vice chairman uh, of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and Dave Mayer, CEO, the two leaders of this uh, organization. So over to you, Mike. Great, thank you, Mike. And um, I know we're going to have a, a full and a, a full and really fast-moving sessions today. So, with loads of expert content uh, on particularly serious issues um, that I think will deserve your respect, concentration, uh, and hopefully feedback. Um, but we also want, there for you, for, for you to stay fresh uh, and well watered to do that, um, so that we have a few ten-minute breaks. Uh, to grab some coffee, food, bathroom breaks, whatever, uh, look at the list of attendees, uh, and also schedule some times for, for some networking for some participants that you may see that are also uh, on the, uh, uh, the event today. Now, with regard to networking sessions and exhibitor booths, we have some great exhibitors here today uh, who have been supporting uh, uh, this event, uh, and we they deserve your time as well. So, um, we hope that uh, while you're in those exhibitor booths, you can chat with them and or schedule meetings for some more in-depth conversations. Uh, but also the other element for us is to use the opportunity for networking. Uh, networking uh, over the last two or three, well, the last two years in particular has been really difficult. Uh, and so every opportunity you get, I think you should uh, take. So we do have some options uh, for some networking sessions uh, and you can use these either to have uh, in, in private ones with room options with no designated topics that you can use, or you can join different rooms with some specific topics and facilitators that will guide the conversation. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the event. It's taken a lot of planning and we need to congratulate those behind us who've done all this work, but I know you're going to enjoy it. Uh, and I really look forward to seeing you during the event. Great to see you all again. And uh, now I'll hand over to Dave, Dave Mayer. Thanks, Mike, and uh, great to have everybody with us for, as Mike Ramsey said, the third WHO World Patient Safety Day. The theme this year is safe maternal and newborn care, and we're delighted to be partnering and working with the WHO on efforts in this area. During the program, you will also hear about the WHO's Global Patient Safety Action Plan, Dr. Tedros will kick off our program and share a little bit about the action plan, as well as a panel of healthcare leaders who will discuss uh, the plan in, in more detail. Patient safety movement continues to be very active. We follow the visionary course set by our founder and um, past chairman and past CEO, Joe Chiani. Our efforts include first, uh, we are working collaboratively with and under the leadership of Karen Feinstein and the Jewish Healthcare Foundation, as well as many other healthcare organizations, calling for a national patient safety board. There are two other countries around the world who are moving forward with similar approaches. And this is an approach that was used by the National Transportation Safety Board in aviation and transportation. And added to an extreme safe aviation history. We need a similar overriding or to help us learn together and improve together. The patient safety movement also is working very close with Leah Binder and Leapfrog 
And again, many other organizations calling for more aligned incentives related to outcomes of care. We still too often reward the volume and number of procedures or surgeries versus the outcomes of that care. We need to align those incentives better. We're also working in partnership with Tom Gallagher and the collaboration for accountability and improvement, calling for greater transparency in healthcare. If we are not transparent and learn from our good as well as those unfortunate events, we will never make the progress that we need to drive to zero preventable harm. Our actionable patient safety solutions continue to grow. These are evidence-based toolkits that hospitals have used to improve the quality and the safety of care they've provided and have been proven to save lives. These are given free to hospitals around the country and around the world to use as a roadmap to safer care. On the patient and family side, we continue to produce tools that allow patients and family members to navigate the healthcare system safer, to understand issues related to their care. Patient Aider is one example, an app that patients and families use when they enter healthcare. And again, has shown to be a valuable tool. We offer that free of charge. And we also continue to embrace the safety of our workforce, our healthcare workforce, those heroes at the front line. Look, healthcare was not a safe occupation to go into even before the pandemic. Depression rates, suicide rates, workplace injury rates were higher than almost any other in industry. The pandemic has only made this worse. Infection rates and death rates of those here at the front line were far too many. The burnout rates that have occurred because of the pandemic Many of us believe we may have wiped out a generation of nurses, and that will contribute to trying to provide safe care. We need to support those at the front line. They go to work every day to heal and to try to do good, but because of faulty systems and processes, we let them down. And unfortunately, when somebody does get hurt, these events are devastating to them too. And finally, I wanted to thank all those that have joined with us and committed to zero preventable harm by 2030. The hospitals, the health system, the partners that have joined us in calling for that zero by 2030. Thank you. We need everyone to commit with us and to say we want zero preventable harm by 2030, by the end of this decade. So I'll stop there and, and turn it back to you, Mike Ramsey, and uh, take us through the next part. Thank you, Dave. And uh, I just want to echo what you said. This is a very serious problem that we're dealing with. We're dealing with patients who've been harmed, patients who have died from preventable processes. And we know the solution. We've just got to get everybody on board to work with us to get there. And I think the moonshot that you're putting together with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation is what we have to do to activate everybody to get us all on the same page. And I think the driving force is, let's think about the patients who've been lost. Let's all of us have a moment of silence because you all know somebody who got harmed in the healthcare system. And let's just pray for them, think about them, and use this as a driving force to make a difference. So let's have a moment of silence. So I hope that has brought to the front of your mind how serious this issue is and how we have to make a difference. And now I want you to enjoy the rest of the program that's been put together for you. And uh, if you get lost at all during this or you leave the program and want to come back, if you look at the top of your screen, there's a Live Now section button. And if you click on that button at the top of your navigation system, it'll take you to the page and keep you on track of where we are automatically. So please do that um, and uh, remember that, the Live Now button at the top of your screen. 
And I'll now turn it back to Mike Durkin, um, who will introduce the next segment.